welcome to the MBS show, episode number 371. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got this situation where news is practically slow, like there's only one news on the docket today. So I'm thinking, well, let's just hang out and let's just, you know, chat around, do stuff. Um, uh, you know what, let's get into the news. <laughs> Ooh, boys. So, in first news, exclusive My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Papercraft Covered Reveal. So, if you guys got no idea what this is, well, I'll just explain it to you. It is a book, or an activity book, where you get to fold paper into, well, um... I'm gonna guess your ponies, yes. So, you'll get, what, what I'm guessing is here you get instructions on how to do it, pieces of paper and so on, and um, the character lineup that you are going to get are um, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Father Shy, Pinkie Pie Rarity, Applejack, Spike, ooh, Spike, that's cool, uh, Princess Celestia, Luna, Cadence, Shining Armor, Starlight Glamour, Trixie, Big Mac, the Kura Scootaloos, and the CMCs, and also Furry Heart. So, uh, I'm guessing you fold them. That, that's gonna be cool, that's gonna be cool. And it's approximately going to be $14.99, so that's gonna be 15 in the United States and 18 in Canada. It says here, and it's for all ages. Woo! I'm also bonus blank. Patterns so you can create your own ponies. Yay, that's much, much awesomeness. So, uh, what do you get in this? Like, um, the back of the book says, um, fans, blah, 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 uh, featuring original templates that comes pre scored scorn and die cut. Each paper character is ready to pop out, fold and, gl- oh, okay. I'm, I'm guessing this is, um, oh, I, I'm not sure if you guys have it there or not. It's, um, this little piece of plastic where you pop it out and you put it together to create a animal and whatnot. Like, I, I think this is what um, they're talking about. So that's cool. I, I, I thought you full paper and stuff. Hmm, okay. So, um, that's still cool and I can understand the price. And here's the thing. Uh, this book here, comes with some extras and that is the uh, My Little Pony manga and I forgot to mention that uh, most of the what you call this um, art here are by the manga like uh, the cover picture is from the My Little Pony manga and the back here is also too and <clears throat> I've been hearing a lot of people talking about the manga um, some of you who are listening to this now thank you, said that they rather enjoy the manga and it brought new life to the series or brand. And yeah, I, I kind of agree. The art style, it's a tonal shift from whatever we've been getting from IDW and also the show. In all honesty, if we do get a My Little Pony anime, that will kind of work too. It, it's the same principle as the manga. But I'm thinking that if you change it too much, some people might not like it. I, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people might not like the manga and haven't been vocal about it or they're not too loud. So I'm, I'm just guessing that it's not a bad thing and it's pretty interesting. But the review for the manga, that's going to be a while. Like, we we are going to do it, but we're not 100% sure on how we are going to do it. See, the difference between the manga and the normal comics is the format of how each page and how, well, the content is. Um, A good example is when you get a comic, it's just... Okay, um, it's just one book and it's done. It's for about, what, 20 to 30 pages or so, including covers, I'm thinking. 
And for the manga, it was around 100 and let's just say 100 plus pages. So there's the difference there. And reviewing something like that is going to take some, rem- uh, just take some work. But other than that, we'll see. Uh, the format of the manga is also different too. They're not using standard manga panels. They're using the Fokoma panels. And if I were to break it down, it starts with um, the setup for a joke, the telling of the joke, and also the uh, punchline. And it repeats for a few pages. And you know what? I- I'm just going to hold my overall thoughts about the manga. I would recommend go reading it, and that's Manga Volume 1. And everything, if I understand right, the manga is set around uh, the school. Like, I'm sorry, no. What I mean is um, after Season 7, entering Season 8, where the school is kind of a thing, because Spike got wings and whatnot. So, yeah, that's something. Other than that, um, can't say much. That, that's review for another day. As for the paper craft, I can't wait to see how it looks. I, I'm guessing there are so, you know what? Now that I remember, it could be the one that we saw at the toy fair in New York. So, yeah, that could be one of them. So anywho, yeah, that's the news for this week. Sorry for the rather abysmal news week. There's some, but, uh, and there's, I'm not gonna touch it because I got no idea how to deal with it. <clears throat> so anyway, um, well, that's the news for this week. And as for my favorite topic, what have I been doing this week? Nothing much, nothing much. Have been doing a lot of work, you know, life stuff and whatnot. And, you know, uh, I, Read, um, I, I was reading through the previous, uh, previous episodes comment, and you guys are really awesome. Like, you guys are awesome. Can't say much. Like, you guys are really awesome. But anyway, um, you know what? I've been holding you for a while now, and, well, let's wrap it up. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the dot Home. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitch Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Silver Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and specials. Oh, yeah, talking about specials. Recently, uh, the Rainbow Friendship special came out, and that was not bad. That, that was kind of cool. And also, the, what you call this, uh, Sunset's Road Trip. That one was, no, not Road Trip, but Backstage. Yeah, uh, that one was there too, and awesome. Uh, future things for us to talk about because I have a lot to say about the Dazzlings coming back. Oh my god, I wish they had more of them. And also the recent um, special with the road trip. Oh my god, they had so much ample opportunity to use Grogar there. <sighs> but that's for a future thing to talk about. So then if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Jeffrey, and also Master of Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!